what was going through your routine to kind of let Coach Thompson know, okay, I'm good to go. I can go out here and get a couple out. Right. I mean, you know, I was protecting Lucas last year, yesterday, but I mean, he threw a heck of a game. And, um, you know, I got to give a lot of credit to our hitters tonight. I mean, they really swung it, you know. And, um, you know, my arm was okay. It was, it was coming back. You know, I'm used to throwing back-to-back -back days and stuff. So I was ready. I told Coach Thompson I was ready. And when they needed me, they put me in. You came in, and they had consecutive left-handers coming up, two really good batting average hitters there. But you came in with their best stuff, got a couple of strikeouts. Right. I mean, every hitter, you know, I just try to attack with my best stuff. And fastball side, I was working tonight. So... And, you know, Gavin was calling the heck of a game. It's got to give a lot of credit to him. When it's second and third and one out, what's your mindset on the mound? Are you looking for a strikeout, or what are you trying to do at that point? I'm just thinking don't let him score. So that's, <laughs> that's the main thing. And, I mean, if I happen to get a strikeout, you know, I'll take it. Do you re – or what, what's going through your mind when it's, you know, 12, up, 12 down? Oh, I mean, you know, I just try to help my team, keep my team in it as long as I can. And, you know, when the coaches decide to put someone else in, I mean – they always have my back, you know, so it's all good. We know you're a, kind of a goofy guy in the dugout with all the bench mob stuff. <laughs> yeah. well, what, what's your personality on the mound, though? Is it the same way? Do you get more serious? Um, I mean, as soon as, as soon as I hit the mound, it's like a light switch, and, you know, I get really serious, and I'm, I have to shut them down, do my job. So I just try to play Mississippi State baseball. I don't know if the radar going out there reads accurate. They were clocking you about 96. You come back about 86 miles. It was still a fastball, but to them it had to look like a changeup. Right. I mean, the gun was probably a little juiced, but, um, I mean, you know, they, they like to swing at that slider in the dirt, so I just throw it sometimes. What was an advantage that South Carolina did not see you this season, and they probably didn't remember you much from the previous seasons. Right, I mean, I started against them last year, so they might have had a little bit of film on me, but, um, I mean, my role has kind of changed this year, so I'm kind of a different pitcher this year. Back then you paced yourself and you came at them all out right. this time. Yeah, I really just tried to attack the hitters, you know, give my best stuff. Since he mentioned the radar gun, it seemed like you said something to the umpire with like your second or third inning, and suddenly the radar gun wasn't working. Did you kind of ask for it to get turned off? Oh, I mean, actually, I asked him about the rosin bag. Oh, okay. Um, nothing was really coming out, so we had a little conversation there. So. Okay. Did you call any problems? Um, it, I mean, it was a little damp. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, fi I figured it out. FIO. That's what Coach Thompson preached. I mean, Coach Thompson, Coach Cohen preached. So I figured it out. What was part?